All right, so let's say that you have a large picture that you just got from a friend or just scanned or even a video file that you have that you shot with either a video camera or a smartphone and that you want to share it with people and you don't really want to put it on Facebook or anything. Instead, you actually want to just save it for later. So you need some way to store it online, but you don't really have a lot of the tech skills to create your own website and you don't really care to. So what we're going to do is just use Google, of course. So we're going to click on the Drive button right here, and that'll load up Google Drive, which is a great way to store any document that you want. And what we're going to do is instead of clicking Create, we're going to click on this little up arrow, which is called Upload. And you can click Files. And this is where we just choose our uh, large file that we have. So let's say this cute dog picture is very large. And all it'll do is Upload, and it'll tell you that it's all set and that it's been uploaded and now we can just click on it and that'll show us the image to make sure that it was right which is pretty handy but what we really want to do is invite people to check this out so what we're going to do is hit the share button right here after ticking right next to it we'll just hit share and it'll pull up a few things here so we can share the link via email google plus facebook and even twitter uh, if we want people to be able to browse it in their Google Drive, all we have to do is add people by typing in their name down here. But let's say all we want to do is shoot an email off to people. So we're just going to copy and paste that link. And now we can just paste it into any email and we'll be good to go. Uh, if you don't even want to do it that way, you can always just click on the Gmail button right here. Same with any of these and it'll bring up the appropriate way to share things. So whether your file is large or small, you can use this to uh, basically share as much as you want online, which is great. Google Drive comes with five gigs of storage, and if you need more, then you can always hit upgrade storage, and it'll walk you through how to buy it. So you get five gigs for free, 25 for 250 a month, and 100 gigs for just five bucks a month, which is not too shabby. Uh, the prices seem to actually keep coming down. So $5 a month if you have the ability to upload 100 gigs of photos and videos, then that may be for you. But in general, five gigs is enough for most people. You can always go back and delete stuff. So I hope that made sense and happy sharing.